It really is just astonishing to see this devastation up close. We are right in front of one of those, the, one of these homes that not just damaged or destroyed. I mean, just completely gone. Several of these massive homes just gone. Five to ten million dollar homes. And when you look at this, it's just on the other side of this home. That's where that uh, canyon is, where the fire came up yesterday, 24 hours ago. And it's incredible to think that anything of value can be found in all of this rubble. We did just notice that a children's toy is right out front here. You can see the blue and the orange kind of stands out. Another thing we've noticed is with some of the walls still standing, but over what appears to have been the garage, there's some pillars that are just kind of teetering over, which kind of shows what a dangerous situation remains for emergency crews because these structures, what's left of them, could still topple over. And so it creates a very dangerous uh, situation for the crews working the scene here. As we walk down here, we've got a crew from Carlsbad that's uh, they've been here since uh, late last night. They're now kind of uh, packing things up, uncertain whether they get to go home or not. A lot of San Diego crews got here late last night, and uh, we're taking a look at another home right next door. Multi-million dollar, beautiful home. Even with this destruction, you could tell that this was just a tremendous, a beautiful home. And there's just not much left, just the signature of just how, what a, what ravage came through here with that fire. And then you take a look right across the street here. We pan over and some homes that uh, just were very lucky, these homeowners, that they will be able to come home, not yet, but they will have a home uh, to come back to. And all afternoon we've been watching as people come through, neighbors uh, just getting a look at the damage. Many neighbors in this Laguna Niguel community have little, if anything, to return to after a wind-driven brush fire destroyed and damaged multi-million dollar homes. Just move forward. So that's all I can say. Keith Morey is staying positive after the coastal fire destroyed the home he's rented for nine years and just about all he owned. But Morey and his wife had a moment to celebrate as firefighters saved their computer and a wedding photo. Because they're the heroes. Okay. I was happy. I, I was trying to find you to uh, search you down and uh, glad we were able to hook up. So Unbelievable. Thank yeah. you so much. You're absolutely welcome. So we were able to save our wedding picture. Uh, we got married four years ago and uh, we had some beautiful memories in this house. Fire crews from all over the region, including San Diego County, have responded. Homes have continued to smolder, and what's left of burned out structures remain unstable and are in danger of collapsing. San Diego Fire Captain Joe Amador says his crew arrived late Wednesday night to relieve local firefighters. We've been here ever since trying to support their uh, their mission, which is basically just to patrol and uh, protect some of the you know some of the remaining structures. We find it you know honorable to come up to another community and come help. That, this will be signed up for. Uh, for us to come up here means that we can turn around if something happens in San Diego they'll be willing to come back and help us should the need arise. We talked with some evacuees who spent the night at a nearby evacuation center set up by the Red Cross. And I saw an orange glow coming in um, to my bedroom and I looked out the window and I could see the hillside on fire and um, my neighbor called me and she said everybody's evacuating and I could, the helicopters were behind my house. But it was scary inside, you know, I'm trying to keep it as a parent, trying to maintain composure, but I was scared, you know, because it was coming so fast. It came up so quickly. Throughout the day, residents walked the street in disbelief, checking in on their homes and their neighbors' homes. Kind of heartbreaking. It's shocking. It's shocking what happened, but it's not surprising because we do have that canyon that was has been dry. I've lived here 25 years, and it was, I hate to say, a matter of time. So neighbors just uh, really in disbelief what they've seen, uh, what they are seeing their neighbors go through, what they will have to go through, because people here, a pretty tight-knit community is how it's been described with us. People have been here for years and years, never seen anything quite like this as we're giving you a look at yet another home smoke still coming out of you know what looks like it, it looks like it was taken out by a missile uh, these are bomb scenes that we see in other parts of the uh, of the world but uh, we have seen in our own area the devastation of what these fires can do in such a short amount of time Zach if we come down here uh, we give you a look at uh, another home right next door completely gone, what's left of a garage still standing, and a, a burned out car, a Mercedes right here in front, simply no time to uh, get out of here and uh, really don't know, you know, 
how much uh, warning this family had. Uh, we've heard about families that, uh, you know, just it was a matter of minutes and they had to get out. Others who just kind of saw the smoke, saw the glow getting bigger, and then eventually uh, deciding that they had to get out. And right now it's uncertain when they will be able to go back. We're live from Laguna Niguel. We'll send it back to you.